In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate molar solubility in the presence of a common ion. Question one reads, what is the molar solubility of calcium fluoride in a solution containing 0.100 molar sodium fluoride? To answer this problem, we'll begin by writing the reaction by which solid calcium fluoride dissolves into its constituent aqueous ions. If that's confusing to you, here's what I mean. So we have calcium fluoride, it breaks down into calcium ions, that's calcium 2 plus, and that's aqueous, plus fluorine ions, also aqueous. We need to balance this, of course, so I'll place a 2 in front of this ion. Next, I'll write the KSP expression, or the solubility product expression, where I have KSP is equal to the equilibrium concentration of the products. So we have calcium ions, its equilibrium, concentration, which we haven't found yet, multiply to the fluoride ion concentration. And that's being raised to the power of 2 because of this coefficient. Now, because calcium fluoride is a solid, it is not part of the equilibrium expression shown here. And if it were, we would be dividing by its concentration. OK, next we'll create an ice table for this equation that we've created. I've conveniently moved everything underneath so that I can have more room. So I'll create an ice table where we have the initial change and in equilibrium concentrations. And what we're looking for is the expression for the equilibrium concentrations. I'll show you how to generate those in a moment. So since this is a solid, we don't worry about this part. The initial concentration of calcium 2 plus is 0. And since in the question we're mixing calcium fluoride with NaF, or sodium fluoride, if this breaks down, it breaks down into sodium and fluoride. So we can say that the initial concentration when we mix these two of fluoride is 0 0.100. Next, I'll set X or S or whatever you want as the change of one of these. And stoichiometrically compare, where we have 1 to 2, the molecules in the products here. So since this is 1 to 2, we'll have 2X represented as the change for fluoride ions. To find E, we add I plus C together. So if I add these two together, I end up with X. If I add these two together, I end up with 2X plus 0 decimal 100. I'll substitute these expressions into where they belong in my KSP equation. So I have for calcium 2 plus X, and for fluoride, I have 2X plus 0 decimal 100, and that is being raised to the power of 2. As you can see on the right side, if you're mathematically savvy, if you were to expand the right side of this mathematical equation, you would end up with a cubic function. And cubic functions are hard to solve. So we can make the assumption that since KSP is so small, the value here being added to 0 0.100 is also very small. And because it's so small, it's almost negligible. Therefore, we can make the assumption that 2x doesn't need to be included here. And by removing it, it will still be as accurate. So once again, you can only make this approximation if KSP is small, which you're going to find out it is once we locate it in the table below. And if it's small, you can make the approximation that the 2x is much less than 0 0.100 and will therefore be insignificant as mentioned before. On the right side of this expression, we have x times 0 0.100 raised to the power of 2. We're looking for x because at the end of the day, we want the concentration of calcium and, of course, the concentration of fluoride. So I will find calcium fluoride in here, and it's right there, calcium fluoride. Its KSP is 1.46 times 10 to the power of negative 10. So I'll place that right here. 1.46 times 10 to the power of negative 10, and we'll solve for x. So 1.46 times 10 to the power of negative 10 over 0 0.100 raised to the power of 2 is equal to x. So now we have the number at the top divided by the number at the bottom. That's our x value, and because x represents the equilibrium of calcium 2 plus, the number that we calculated is the concentration of calcium, 1.46 times 10 to the power of negative 8 
molar. And we can substitute that number into X here to find the concentration of fluoride as well. Now just for comparison, the molar solubility of calcium fluoride in pure water is 3.32 times 10 to the power of negative 4 molar, which means that calcium fluoride is over 20,000 times more soluble in water than in a sodium fluoride solution. And of course you can confirm this yourself by calculating the solubility in pure water from the value of KSP. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the molar solubility in the presence of a common ion. If you'd like the solution to question two, just leave a comment below and I'll be glad to make a video showing that solution. We'll see you soon.